say get rotation values or something like that. As always, we can double click and open that graph like so for a function or double click and open this graph as well. The last one that we'll talk about is collapsing nodes. So if I select all of these nodes here and I right click and I collapse these nodes, it's going to collapse them down into a collapsed graph, which we can give this a name. We'll just say it smoothly rotates spotlight. We can double click, open it up, and there's all of the blueprint nodes that we had before. So if we go back to our event graph, well, you can see how we can organize our graphs a little bit tidier by using these different graphs. The advantages to some of these, the function, this is something that you can call from an external blueprint because it's a function. You can tap into this blueprint and call this function. As with a macro, the macro is more of a utility that you can use within this particular blueprint. You're not necessarily going to be calling it from external blueprints unless you set up a blueprint macro library. But again, that's outside the scope of this particular project. Collapse graphs is purely a way of condensing a particular graph. The good thing about the function as well, too, is that you can take the function and add it to different sections. So if you have something that you're doing multiple times, you can make a function for it and then just call that multiple times wherever you need to inside of your graph. The same thing with macros. Macros can do that as well. Collapse graphs, you cannot do that with. Let's go ahead and close this back out. We talked about construction script and event graphs. Now that we've covered how to move around the Blueprint Editor graphs and the different types of graphs that you'll be using, you should have a better understanding of what each graph can be used for. And if you need to, you may want to take some additional time exploring the graphs and practice navigating before moving on.